Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Will Rogers Downs here on Tuesday. It is the 18th of April, 2023. Going to look at the eighth race from Will Rogers, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Remember to go check out my New Market Craven meeting previews. Um, the Craven meeting in the UK um, at New Market, it's kind of their first big, you know, race meeting for um, the flat horses of the year. And, uh, you know, you see some good Derby and uh, most like mostly Guineas prep races and some Royal Ascot prep races. So join me for those previews up here on, on YouTube. The first day is going to be ready up when this video is live. So check that out. But let's look at the eighth race from Will Rogers now, which is the Highland Ice Stakes. It's going for a $50,000 purse race for three year olds and upwards. Field of six horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,200 meters, or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the Will Rogers main track. Excuse me. 1,200 meters, six furlongs here in the Highland Ice. My top selection, I'm going to go take the number one horse, Ernie Banker. Let's go 1542 in the Superfecta. 1542 Super, top selection, one horse, Ernie Banker. Six year old by Central Banker. J.R. Caldwell trains one, gets Sanchez up on the saddle. The horse's most recent out came 31st of March at uh, Sam Houston. Seven furlongs and optional 30 claimer. And the horse won by six and three quarter lengths that day. And basically on the front end, he put on a show. He stalked that day, he, he got the lead, and he took off clear. Coming home with an 85 buyer wasn't the best of the career, but it was still a very good, impressive race. Come to a Rogers against Stakes Quiet Horse is not the world's toughest race. I think he should get the trip to uh, win here today. Two back ran in mid-February at, at Sam Houston. Six furlongs and optional 40 claimer. And he won by one and a quarter lengths that day. And he sat back early, letting him have a strong pace up front. When he got to the front end, he took off clear. Not as impressive as the race after or a race before. But it was still a very good race for him there. And then early February at Sam Houston. Seven furlongs and optional 30. He won by five and three quarter lengths. And basically on the front end all throughout. Dueling great fractions. He won by five and three quarter lengths. 96 career best buyer. That was a very good run there. His last defeat came at Sam Houston in mid-January. Six furlongs and optional 30. Where he finished third by six lengths. And he had a very wide trip, which caused him i think the inside poacher is a uh, is great for him he has some forwardly pace you know five to two let's use him um i think his second likeliest winner would be the five horse miles rocket uh for alex bruiser uh you know most recently it's at prayer meadows in a state bread six prong stakes race on the first of october the horse finished second by half a length and he had a stupidly wide poster but he was dueling early on he got caught late but earned a 92 buyer in defeat nothing bad about that race prior to that in the john wayne at prayer meadows over the six he won by four and a quarter lengths and on the front end all throughout another very strong race there and then won a lounge race at prairie last june very very nicely he has a lot of speed here he has a nice workout over this track it wouldn't surprise me at three to one if he gets the job done a definite use in your multis but to recap my selection now for the eighth remote rogers it is the highland ice let's take the one horse ernie banker give kudos to the five horse miles rocket um one five four two super one five in your multi race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing hit five good luck everybody